If you want to get inspired by a riff, learn this. All right? Basically, um, months back, I came across a, a guy playing this riff, and I forgot it. And then started just jamming in my practice time and started doing something like it again. And uh, I know the ending is altered, but um, very cool choppy uh, rock riff that I think if you learn this, it's going to inspire to you to want to practice like it did me. Check it out slowly. Oops. Anyways, I'm going to show it to you, but I'm going to take a seat. I'm doing more of a Malmsteen type of thing on the, oops, camera's going nutty on me here, on the end. So um, I'm tuned flat for this. I wanted to play my Vinnie Moore guitar. Um, so we've got this. Once you get that, you'll be able to apply that beat rhythm over two more spots. Palm mute open E and then go 7A. So, I'm palm muting both of those actually. And then 4G hammer to 5. Palm mute 7A. So, and then 4G. That's important because that's a loop. You're gonna play that twice. Oops. And then end it with palm mute open E, palm mute 7A, 4G hammer to 5. That's the whole cycle. That's the concept of the rhythm here, okay? So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to start on an open A palm muted to a 8A, and then 7G hammer to 9, palm mute the 8A, uh, go to the 7G, and do that twice. So. And then palm mute open eight again, and then seven hammer to nine on the G. See how it's the same rhythmically as the other one. Okay, once again, I'm gonna take that same concept. Um, open A, 11A, palm muted. 9G hammer to 10. Palm mute 11A, 9G, you can do that twice, right, palm mute open and 11 on the A again, and then 9 hammer to 10 on the G, so we have, it's a good uh, down pick exercise too, so. Okay, 13B, 10B, hammer 13, pull to 10, and pull to a open. Then 10G, the middle, shift that down to 10B, pull off to 9, so. And then 10, 9G, alternate pick, so. And then this little Malmsteen harmonic minor. 12E, hammer 13, pull 12. And then go 15, 13, 12 on the B. And then 14, 13, G. That could also be played there. Um, 9, 10, 9 on the G, pick hammer pull. 
12, 10, 9, D. 12, 11, A. Subgroup this stuff, man. So you're gonna have fun with that. I think that'll be your inspiration riff, all right? Guaranteed, it's gonna make you wanna practice. It's killer, all right? Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do, do so now. Just go ahead and sign in and subscribe. If you're a subscriber, go ahead and make your requests. And who knows, I may pick yours next. But if you don't subscribe and request, you, you know, it'll never happen. Unless someone else picks your request, you know. Social media, let's talk about that. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Um, I'm doing the Facebook Lives on occasion, um, so that would be the one to to uh, send me a friend request to. All right, send the edits. You've already seen it probably, or it's coming shortly in the edits. And three paid services I offer. If you want to take your playing to the next level and get some private lessons, I teach on Skype around the world, guitar, bass, and uh, my wife teaches vocals. And I also have priority prepaid guitar lessons, which is like the fast pass to get your request on my channel within three days for a fee. And uh, CBT and CT guitar lessons. Basically, it's a song transcribing service I offer behind the scenes. Right on tab paper. It's very detailed. It's one I'm working on right now from Black and Blue. Nasty, nasty. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, Another service, the tabs are very detailed, scanned, sent to your email, it's a CT lesson. CBT is the same thing, but it's, uh, it's the same thing, but um, has the video. All right, so that's it. Until next time, I'm Mike Gross. Keep rocking. Keep rocking. Can you shut the door real quick? Sure.